Well, good evening, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with your Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on November 24th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. I'm back, and I'm so happy to be back, and I'm so thankful that you're watching. Looking at our sun, this is the last 48 hours. We had some fiery activity, Earth facing along the equator of the sun. You can see here under this light, just a crackle in a little bit. Definitely a disturbance in our sun's magnetic field. As you can see, the, the way the plasma reacts to the magnetic field of its own. Looking here on the northeastern side of the sun, watch this. Solar wind. And then under 304 angstroms here, you can see the plasma that was involved with that solar wind. So that solar wind was lifting the plasma hundreds of thousands of miles into the air. Amazing footage coming out of Solar, solar Dynamics Observatory. I want to thank everybody for watching today. I know I haven't been as consistent as I used to be, but I'm going to be getting into that soon. I want to explain everything to all of my friends and family from around the world as to what's going on with the do. I appreciate all of your love and your loyalty and support, and I thank each and every one of my viewers from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Looking here at the real-time solar wind, we had a quite a spike in the last 24 hours, up to 600 kilometers per second. Our solar wind was coming in. A density spiked to 2.3 at that time as well. So very active solar activity that was affecting us. And it instantly changed everything for earthquakes around the world as we had a lot of surface rumbles across the globe from Alaska to New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Indonesia. We're going to start out here. This is the last 48 hours as we have two sizable earthquakes to talk about here. One in Alaska, a 6.3 in Adak. Alaska, and this is of active volcanic region as well. We had a 5.7 and just north of that is a very active Kamchatka. Quite a few volcanoes have activated over there as well. Please stay tuned. You will be getting the volcanic activity report coming up in the next 48 hours. I will be producing that. I'm working on that right now and looking at an earthquake swarm across Indonesia and up into the Philippines. But this is the last 48 hours for earthquakes and you can see a lot of surface quakes. Nadoi Island, this was the deepest earthquake the last 48 hours, 340 kilometer depth. Watching some minor four points Four point magnitude in Mexico and as well down into South America in Argentina in the South Chile rise and here a 5.8 yesterday in New Zealand and a 6.1 yesterday in Indonesia. Now this is all as that solar wind was penetrating our planet affecting our magnetos our magnetosphere our magnetic field and as well both our our north northern polar vortex and southern and we're going to be getting into that as well because things are changing across the planet quickly this is the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world watching the increase in alaska we're going to be showing exactly why that is happening too. some very sizable low pressure systems spinning there we're going to go over here to windy.com and show here the next 10 days for snow as we have quite a winter storm event that will be affecting northwestern United States straight across into Quebec. Now watch here the next five days and 10 days or three days, five days 
and then 10 days. Heavy amounts of snow. Look here in the Sierra Nevadas. California mountains will be receiving over 150 centimeters of snow. Looking to open up their ski lifts here really soon. That's for sure. Because these cold temperatures and snowfall totals are going to be reaching as far down as the border with Texas. 6.9 centimeters falling there. Heavy amounts in southern Colorado. About 80 centimeters they will, they will be receiving there. But this is going to be a very intense storm as we have an intertropical convergence. We have equatorial moisture that's going to be mixing with polar vortex. Basically a low pressure system that came from the north. So very extreme cold temperatures versus extreme warm. So watch for an extreme weather event. I say hate to say extreme so many times, but it is, it's extreme, man. Um, you know, a lot of things are changing and I haven't seen weather react like this in all of my time of research. And there's a lot of people that can say that. Just saying. So I wanted to share with you across North America the snowfall totals. We're going to get into the wind and let's see exactly what's going to be affecting us over the next seven days. So we have low pressure system that's spinning over Alaska. A large northern low. Watch up here. That's going to be dipping down right over into the Hudson Bay. And that will be fueling down all of the cold temperatures to smash with that large low in Alaska. Definitely going to be receiving some cold temperatures here in Alberta. Not quite as cold as the Northwest Territories or Russia, but definitely these low pressure systems that are coming off of the Pacific are going to bring a lot of moisture with them. So stay aware and prepared, all of my friends and family from around the world, friends on the BC coastline and throughout Alaska. Watch for an uptick in seismicity throughout this region. And here is the culprit that is going to be bringing the large amount of snow and cold temperatures across North America. Now watch this five day forecast play out brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mark, Meteor Mike. Thanks for watching. Again, there's the low pressure system coming from the uh, North Pacific, smashing with an equatorial low. It was almost a tropical storm, tropical storm Rita. Right there, right there is tropical storm Rita. So Rita will be heading into the peninsula, San Francisco Bay area, as this large low pressure system heads into Washington, BC coastline. And then it, it takes about five days to leave the mountains. So watch for heavy amounts of snowfall ahead of this low pressure system in northwestern parts of United States. And as well, watch for heavy amounts of snow throughout Quebec and the Atlantic provinces later in the week as those low pressure systems head through. And you can see those cold temperatures coming in through as well. Minus 20 degrees, that's without the wind chill, folks. And there's going to be a lot of wind associated with these cold temps. You can see northwestern there, there was a huge low pressure system in the Pacific. We're looking at minus 20 dipping down here in Alberta. But Russia's already stuck at minus 35 and more. Minus 40 here, minus 43. These temperatures have been like this for the last five days and they're swinging around the globe. Large, vigorous, low pressure systems are spinning all across the North Pole right now. It is winter time. Well, no, it's not actually. December 21st is our first day of winter, as far as I know. But the jet streams do start to change right now, but not as drastic as they have been. Now, looking across Europe, we already have 
heavy amounts of snow in the United Kingdom that will be coming. And then watch as a tropical depression, well, tropical storm Sebastian heads into the United Kingdom as well. Northern France and then into Ireland and then straight into United Kingdom and then around to Russia again. There's nothing stopping these low pressure systems. They're bigger, they're stronger. Our magnetic, our magnetic field has changed so much that it can't contain them. Looking across Africa, daily evaporation. India, pretty cool across India right now. Heavy amounts of snow in Nepal. Looking across Indonesia and the Philippines. Tropical storm developing later in the week. Tropical cyclone has not been named yet, but will be forming, hitting the Mariana Islands. There is only Rita and Sebastian right now. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching today and tuning back into Morning Dew. I have not left. It's just sometimes I just, I, I need a break. It's a lot to, um, it's a lot of work to do what I do. It's a lot of knowledge that I keep inside my head. I can't sleep at night. So thanks again for watching and supporting Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Much love to you all. Get in the comment section, say hi, I haven't heard from you in a while, please let me know how you're doing, how's your weather, how's life been. This has been your 5 day forecast and world weather report. Again, in the next few days, watch for the volcanic activity report. Much love to you all, stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun. I'm going to leave you here looking at our southern hemisphere versus our northern hemisphere. Much love. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.